good? It's your boy Young Burst, PowTV.net. I got the homie Shorty Mac from the West Coast on the phone. What's good? Tabernacle, preach, judge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yo, what it do? I, just, yes, I just realized, like, I, I seen, like, Coach Carter for the first time. I realized that you was in I, I didn't even know. Yeah, you know, like, man, I was in there beating niggas up. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, is there any other, like, movies or shows that you've been in that, that we don't know about? Yeah, I mean, well, shit, I was on Moesha for, like, three years, syndicated on that show, so that shit for all the Moesha fans. And I was on uh, Boston Public. I'm in that movie A Day in the Life. I played on uh, Lincoln Heights before. Shit, I was on Your Mama, that one show, Your Mama, on MTV. Yeah. Shit, I got my own movie called uh, From Welfare to Millionaire. That's out. And a couple of more flicks, too, I've been do- I've done and stuff. I forgot. I've been doing that acting shit for a minute. So much shit. That, oh, I even forgot. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so what you got coming up in the future as far as acting? Well, you know, I'm just going to pursue this reality shit for a minute. I'm trying to get my own show. I mean, shit, acting is great. I love having to read a script. I love when somebody give me a script and, you know, I'm getting that scale, that 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 uh sag and that after a check. But in the same token, shit, this reality shit, people, you get famous in a cup, say what the fuck you want to say. <laughs> you become famous. Exactly. It's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. Shit, after I saw what Kim Kardashian did with the reality T V shit, I don't know, man. She yeah, she's nuts. giving these she's giving these movie star motherfuckers a run for their money. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know, I'm going in, man, I'm trying to get myself a little show or something and just have it have them motherfuckers follow Shorty Mac, you know, and I got talent, so motherfuckers gonna like being around me 'cause I'm gonna be having talent on the motherfucking show. You did. Yeah, yeah, we see how you go crazy on uh on VH1 right now. You know what I'm saying? I can't even imagine it's going to be super turned up with me and my own show. Super, by <laughs> duper, by duper turned up. Swag, swag. <laughs> what do you mean? One time soup on that bitch. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we just we just covered this uh, little beat concert. You was out here in New York last week. Yeah, it was crazy yeah. out here. Yeah, I know crazy. it was, though. I know oh, it was, out. man. Like I said, that's another, that Lil B's another, you know, another reason why I'm like, you know, the game has changed, man. It's changed, man. You can you can put out whatever you want. You know, there's a fan base mm-hmm. out there for everybody. We used to not have that, though, back in the days, man. You used to have to walk a certain thin line, and that was the fan base. It's the same recycled fan base. Now, I mean, with this social media network popping, I mean, there's fan bases. There's fans that people didn't even know. It come out of nowhere, like, wow, millions and zillions of people that are fans that you didn't even know because you didn't have a social network to be able to, you know what I'm saying, see who's listening and, you know, have, to be, have the people to be able to actually get in contact right with you. You know, you had to go through a machine and all kind of stuff, and there's nothing wrong with the machine. I love the machine. But at the same time, as far as for just an artist, if you want to get hands-on with your fans, you know, social media is definitely – advanced that and enhanced that and made it easier for the artist to find out what the fan is actually looking for and what, what the fan wants from the artist, you know, at the same time. All right, so speaking of all that, you, you're doing the rap music thing too, right? Oh, man, in a real way, I just, you know, shit, nigga like me, you know, because I, I, I ain't had no big backing, you know what I'm saying, and I was like, I got to go in, nigga, I got to jump up in the game, nigga, so my first video, like I said, got to get it, you know, I, I put the budget up all for that, that's all me, I dropped that in 010, then I just dropped this other shit, Fabulous Life, for right in the beginning of uh, January, that shit did, is doing great, you know what I'm saying, I I, uh, I put the money up all for that, too. I, Ray, Ray came in assistant towards the end, you know, but it still wasn't, you know, no grand scale what we're about to do in the future. So, But I just had to go on and get my get my feet wet and let the people know that I'm out here. So, you know, I'm I'm not also a rapper. I'm also on the business side, too. I'm marketing and putting my shit together by myself with Aaliyah's assistant, Aaliyah Cruz from The Door, and, you know, you see them on the show, too. So with her assistant, you know what I'm saying, and the knockout behind me, I'm just stepping into the business aspect as well as the musician's aspect, you know. That's why people are able to see my music and actually see a visual because, you know, I'm stepping up. And that's what you got to do. This new this new shit popping off now, you got to actually be until, like, some big wig come and say, here goes a couple hundred million or something like that. 
you kind of gotta. That's what the new artist has to do. He has to play both fields. You gotta have that 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 suit on for the for the office, and at the same time, that entertainment fit on for the stage. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I've been doing, stepping up, right, doing right. what it's supposed to be done. You know, showing niggas it's a way. Who cares if nobody's behind you? If you behind yourself, that's all you need. Yada yada man. Yeah. So what would you choose if you had to choose one? What would you do, the uh, rapping or the acting? Oh man, I want to die rapping. <laughs> I want to <laughs> die doing music because that's where I could really express myself. I mean, you know, I had my first album out when I was 13 years old. I had a record deal at 12 years old. You know what I'm saying? My first video came out at 13. That's right when I met Ray. So, you know, I, I've been doing this for a while, and if it wasn't for the music, I wouldn't have even been able to step into the other other aspects of acting and all that other good stuff. That's just a, right. that's the extra benefit that came from the music, so you know, music's my. You got like passion. old tracks and old videos out there somewhere. Oh man, I got all kind of old shit out there. All kind of old footage. That's one thing that I wanted to do, though. I wanted to make sure that if anything happens, they can just go and get footage of me and my whole life on tape. And basically, if somebody go out there and check, they'll find out. My, you can see my whole. Most of my life has been recorded, and that's what I wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to get the the life the life achievement award. I'm trying to, you know, what I'm saying if I don't get the award that I want, I want to get the life award on a nigga. Like what, bitch? Fuck all y'all. <laughs> 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 I went out, nigga. Scar facing niggas. I did it. I did it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, so I'm in it to win it, man. Like I, this game right here is all about longevity, so, you know, I got a lot of tricks up my sleeve to hit these niggas up in the head, you know, to stay stay right on track, the positive movement, you know what I'm saying? Swag, swag, get it, get it. <laughs> all right, so, like, who who are you listening to right now in rap? Um, Shit, I'm really listening to, honestly, man, I'm listening to a lot of myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm listening to some Gucci, you know. Like always, I'm listening to that old uh, Chronic album, you know what I'm saying? Because I, like, you know, I like that type of music. You know, I'm listening to a little bit of Drake Gizzle, you know what I'm saying? I'm listening to some Wheezy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and of course, like I said, myself of overall. Some Tupac, that's about where it stops right there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Biggie. So I can't forget Biggie because I do have Biggie on my disc changer, so. I gotta, gotta, gotta give it up for Big A. Don't, 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 Big A. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so yeah. your name is Shorty Mac. So yeah. obviously you gotta, you gotta think for the ladies. Yeah, so, yeah. When I, what was about to say? What, now what you about to say? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, cause people be getting my they be they be asking like why you say Shorty Mac? Cause see this is what happened, man. When I was young, all my life I've been getting at the ladies, and I was getting at the older women when I was hella young. Like a nigga like me was wearing a suit to school. I was pimping, was pimping, was pimping. So anyway, you know the OGs saw me and they was like, nigga, you you getting all the Shorties, you macking all the Shorties, you's a little Shorty Mac. So I I need to put that out so they understand I'm getting all the Shorties. So that you know, so people don't get it twisted. Cause they be like, "What is show? You not show? Listen, stupid. Just make sure your woman ain't left alone. Cause you'll understand what Shorty Mac is about. <laughs> you did. So, so what ladies <laughs> out there right now, like out there right now in the um in the industry, would would you like to Mac? Well, you know, uh, I'm in the making stars. So right now I'm trying to make my my chick right now who I'm talking with I love you know Aaliyah Cruz I'm trying to make her a star, so I'm trying to make stars right now you know what I'm saying I've I've learned from the best man Ray he, he told me you gotta make stars you don't date stars you make stars so I'm trying to make a you know what I'm saying so I'm working on a project right now which is Aaliyah Cruz I want to see her blow and then man, that's about it you know what I'm saying I I I don't I don't see nothing out there for me right now I'm into making them you know what I mean. All right, so I was talking with my homies. We saw the show, uh, I think it was last week, where it was you and Ray J, and you was, like, sitting down and giving him some advice. Yeah. And I kind of I kind of wondered if this was real because I know Ray J is a Mac, too. Well, he, he has the Mac gene in him. So when you told him, like, yeah, you got to you gotta just bang her out real quick, <laughs> I was like, yo, I know he knew that already. Did did he know that already, or, or did he? Did he really well, like take your advice? 
Well, you know, sometimes you know things and you just got to be re- reintroduced to the facts that you know. So, you know, you know, sometimes you know stuff, but you forget you know it. So I'll I leave it right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Well, um, you got anything else to uh tell us? Yeah, followers? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, man, the Shorty Mac project should be coming out like, sometime in June. You know what I'm saying? Drop some type of album in June. I'm gonna be dropping another mixtape. I already dropped the first one. Everybody should know Underdogs. I'm gonna come out with Underdogs too. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be dropping a couple more videos. Look forward to see me on season three because most likely we're going in for season three. I heard that it's looking good, so. You know, oh, yeah, to let my fans know, thank you guys very much because that episode that you saw was the highest rating episode of this season, the highest rating episode. So that's a blessing, right. thank God. So because of that, shit changed. So definitely I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in with Shorty Mac. You know what I mean? So I'm going to keep on giving them new shit, keeping my swag fresh, dropping more music on them. Everybody, please go check out that fabulous life. I just dropped it on World Star. It's been out for about a week. I didn't even have it at the top, and it already has over 200,000 views. You know what I'm saying? And that's a blessing because a nigga like me, I ain't got no major support right now. And, I, and, you know, hopefully, you know, God's great and everything's looking good. In a minute, I'm going to come back on this same station and be like, hey, I signed a major as well as Knockout. But Knockout and Shorty Mac also has won't be won't just to just smack a hater in the face real quick. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's about it, nigga. I'm on ultimate grind mode. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's going to change. I plan on staying in your face like, 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 like some shit you ain't never even witnessed. So, <laughs> Real top. Real T. That's the new one. Real T. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. We're going to uh, hit you up on Twitter with the interview. Uh, yeah, de- thanks definitely. Lot. Definitely. Thanks Everybody hit calling. me up at I am Shorty Mac dot, uh, at Twitter. I am Shorty Mac at Twitter or my website, WFShortyMac.com. That shit's blowing up. You know what I'm saying? Thank God. Go get all my shit off iTunes. Got to get it. It's on iTunes right now. Fab Life is on iTunes right now. You know what I'm saying? Keep supporting Shorty Mac, a nigga like me. You know what I'm saying? You're going the right way. Represent with a nigga like me because, baby, we ain't going to stop. You know what I'm saying? Because the wheels fall off, and even when they fall off, I'm picking the car up and running with it like Flintstones. You dig? Oh, boy. (laughs) (laughs) Holla at your boy, boy. Guala, guala. All right, bro. One.